General Standards of UK Detailing Point 1. All reinforcement details, such as minimum diameter and minimum or maximum spacing, are only for comparison purpose to raise RFI if the design intent does not meet the requirement. Any changes or addition or omission to design intent based on standard practice or for flexibility or for consistency or for simplified or rationalized method of detailing must be confirmed with client prior to detailing. Point 2. Detailing standards to be checked with client whether the design is based on BS or EC2 prior to detailing. Point 3. Cover to reinforcement to be cross-checked against nominal cover specified for each case, that is internal, external, earth face etc. If given cover is less than nominal cover, adequate tolerance to be adapted and the same to be confirmed with client. If given cover greater than or equal to nominal cover, additional tolerance to be ignored and the same to be confirmed with client. Minimum cover to be 25 mm, or main bar dia and maximum cover to be 40 mm, or 70 mm to axis of main bars, to avoid concrete spalling. Surface mesh or sacrificial bars may be required if cover exceeds 40 mm. Point 4. Reinforcement spacing to be cross-checked against minimum and maximum spacing specified for each case. Minimum clear spacing to be 25 mm vertically and maximum spacing varies for each case. Spacing may be increased or decreased to suit minimum or maximum spacing requirement and the same to be confirmed with client. Point 5. Reinforcement diameter to be cross-checked against minimum diameter specified for each case. No reinforcement to be less than 8 mm, nowadays it become 10 mm. Minimum link reinforcement to be greater than or equal to, main bar dia by 4, or 8 mm. Point 6. Reinforcement congestion to be checked to adapt alternate detail and the same to be confirmed with client. Maximum area of reinforcement to be cross-checked. Minimum clear spacing to be checked at laps, for bundled bars, for bar dia over 32 mm and at junctions, such as beam and column junctions. Preferably all laps to be staggered for bar dia greater than or equal to 16 mm. Mechanical splices using couplers for bar dia is greater than 32 mm and spacing is less than 100 mm may be proposed to client to avoid congestion. Point 7. Minimum bending value for links with 90 degree hook to be 10 times bar dia and radius and bar dia. Point 8. Use of special shape to be confirmed with client prior to detailing. Shape with 5 bend or more may be impractical and the same to be confirmed with client. Alternative arrangement using standard shapes may be proposed to client to avoid special shape. Clear picture with all necessary bending dimensions to be shown in the BBS for special shapes. Point 9. Reinforcement site bending to be checked whether it will work practically. Curved bars can be supplied as straight if radius of bending exceeds the limit. Bar dia less than or equal to 12 mm can be bent at site and place or note to be kept in the drawing. Wall vertical bars at corner to be cranked if dia greater than or equal to 20 mm. Circular column vertical bars do not require to crank at laps. Point 10. Total area for mesh to be shown on RC drawings including 22% for 300 mm lapping allowance. Point 11. All pull-out bars, example, quick strip, to be shown indicatively. Separate BBS may be produced based on product standards for pull-out bars only if there is any client request. Point 12. All coupler bars to be detailed considering length measured from pour line to end of bars to avoid errors in end preparations. Coupler bars may be detailed considering end preparation only if there is any client request. Here some examples. Point 13. Construction sequences to be confirmed with client prior to detailing. 
Top-down construction is required coupler or pull-out starters from slab to column or wall below and from capping beam to liner wall. Underpinning construction sequence and dowel bar arrangement to be confirmed with client if not given. Coupler or pull-out starters from capping beam to ground floor slab or beam or lining wall to be detailed based on method of construction. All column and wall starters to be detailed along with foundations or to be clearly cross-referenced. Temporary opening or crane opening or infill slab and future opening starter bars, coupler or pull-out starters, arrangements to be confirmed with client if not given. Core wall construction method, traditional or slip form or jump form, to be confirmed with client prior to detailing. Point 14. Chair bars to be detailed to support top mat and slab or raft. If height of chair H is greater than 300 mm as per BS 7973 to 1. Chair bar dia can be one bar dia less than top mat bar dia spaced at 50 times of dia of supporting top bar and the same to be confirmed with client prior to detailing. Calculation method shown here. Point 15. The position of all starters to be specified clearly to avoid possible clashes with continuation pour. Special care to be taken for the position of couplers starters and bar dia greater than or equal to 20 mm. Example shown here. Point 16. Overall restricted length of bars for each diameter to be confirmed with client prior to detailing. Suitable stock length is 12 meter for dia greater than or equal to 12 millimeters and 8, 9, or 10 meter for dia is less than 12 millimeters. For transportable bent bars, shortest side of imaginary rectangle to be less than 2.75 meter. Point 17. At least two slab bottom bars should pass through the column as per EC2 requirement and hence placer note to be kept in the drawing to ensure the same at site. Point 18. Slab bars at first layer, or outermost layer, to be placed parallel to shorter span unless noted otherwise. Point 19. No kicker require for upstands. Thank you. For more videos please subscribe feel free creations rebar details.